Welcome knowledge seekers one and all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your cardinal directions. That's north, south, east, and west using the stars above. Just to let you know, the techniques I'll be showing you apply to the northern hemisphere as different stars are visible in each hemisphere. We will begin by using one of the most iconic constellations in the night sky. That is the Big Dipper, which is a part of a larger constellation actually known as Ursa Major, but I digress. We will be using the Big Dipper to find Polaris, which is the official name for what we call the North Star. The North Star is useful for two reasons. First, it rests at nearly perfect celestial north. So if you point a compass at it, a compass which has been adjusted for magnetic declination, of course, it will be pointing at not just the North Star, but at true north. Second, and even more importantly, it is a fixed point in the night sky. That's right, it stays in the same spot all night, every night. This means the other heavenly bodies appear to rotate around and past it. Now let's get to work. Here is the Big Dipper, and here is Polaris. These two stars in the Big Dipper are known as pointer stars. Their names are Maroc, aka Beta Ursi Majoris, and Duby, <laughs> aka Alpha Ursi Majoris. Here is the technique. Once you spot the Big Dipper, draw an imaginary line through the pointer stars and run it out about five times the distance between these stars. You will then arrive at Polaris, which means you are facing north. Now, Polaris is a bit brighter than the stars adjacent to it, which makes it easier to find. Now, some of you may be wondering, if the Big Dipper is moving across the night sky, how could this work? Well, that is the incredible part. No matter what position the Big Dipper is in the sky, the pointer stars always aim at Polaris. In fact, the Big Dipper appears to rotate around the North Star. How cool is that? And if you think that's cool, check this out. There is actually one other constellation that does this same exact thing. It appears to rotate around Polaris and always point to it. That constellation is Cassiopeia, baby. Well, just Cassiopeia. Now, I've seen a few ways to do this, but I've always used the center of the W. Of course, it could look like a 3 or an M, depending on what position it is in the sky, as a bit of an arrowhead and draw a line out from there. We're going to approximate the distance between these two stars here and extend a line out from the center of that W about five times that distance. The great thing about both of these techniques is even if you are a little off, you'll still be very, very close to true north, enough to use for an escape azimuth to find your way out of the woods, so to speak, if you know a freeway or, or a trail is nearby. Now let's try a fun one. We're going to be working with my favorite constellation, Scorpius. The same constellation associated with the Scorpio astrology sign. Now, I'm not a Scorpio, I just think the constellation is awesome. Scorpius appears on the southern horizon, so if you can spot it, that means you're facing a southerly direction. In the late summer, the constellation will be parallel with the horizon and fairly low in the sky, as seen here. Its claws will be pointing to the east and its stinging tail will be in the west. Scorpius is a massive constellation, so it's pretty easy to spot. My name is Thomas Coyne. I'm a professional survival instructor. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment below with any tips or even corrections you may have for me. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to look up.